Welcome to Demystifying Gay Porn. My name is Ike Grande, and if you watch gay porn, I've definitely helped you get off. Uh, today, I am speaking to a sex worker, content creator, big, big OnlyFans guy over here, right? Like, um, yeah, come on. Own it. You got to own that. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, Miguel, better known as Migs, mm -hmm. right? Uh, how are you today? I'm great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's Pride Weekend. It is Pride Weekend. But uh, oh, it's also on my way here. It's the weather is nice outside. It's very nice out. Yeah. It's not nice in here right now because <laughs> I had to turn the AC off, so that way we don't have to hear it in the background. Mm -hmm. But I appreciate your time first and foremost. Uh, thank you so much for coming on. I oh, thank I, you. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I I really enjoy this because I get to talk to content mm -hmm. creators. I get to talk to porn stars, models, uh, producers, directors, uh, sex workers. Mm -hmm. um, I want to know a little bit about you because you you strike me as very down to earth, very cool, very just <laughs> like, you. hey, I am here, I'm doing it, um, yeah. and I'm having a good time while I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, first, of all, I, I, I started doing porn on Twitter and, and OnlyFans, but before that, I was just, I remember before I even started doing all that, I used to just be a regular, uh, uh, I used to use my Twitter like an Instagram, basically, mm -hmm. like if I would go to a restaurant, I would take a picture of my food, I was just like, oh, I'm here, I tagged the location, that's it. And um, and before I started doing uh, OnlyFans, it was by accident, actually. Really? I, didn't, I didn't mean to do it. Well, it was not really an accident. It was just <laughs> I had a fun night where I would drink. And then I, um, at the time, my partner and I, we were just friends with benefits. And then uh, we would just fool around and stuff like that. But then uh, one time I was, I was drunk and then he didn't um want to do anything and i was like you know drunk me took that rejection as like oh no like i'm not attractive or whatever so like i'm gonna give people um, that, that, that the attention that i can get from other people whatever so then i, I posted a, a not safe for work video on on twitter uh i went and the next morning i woke up i was like oh my god i think i posted a blowjob video on twitter and then like i i checked my my account and then i went from like i still remember the numbers because it was such a big jump i was so surprised it went from like uh, I think like three three hundred followers on Twitter to like seventeen k in one night. Wow! Yeah, yeah. And then I was like, "Whoa!" And, and my my friend was messaging me. I was like, "Did you did you see what happened to your Twitter?" And I was like, "Yeah." I was like, "Yeah, you're getting a lot of like um setup, which is like in uh Tagalog. It's in Philip. It's in uh, Philippine language. And then it's uh those are most of my supporters. And I was like, "Whoa!" Like, and my friend was like, "You should do OnlyFans." I was like. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, maybe you shouldn't help. Okay, I'll try. Give it a shot. And then ever since that, I've just been consistent and just posting. But not 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 just sex mm -hmm. stuff. I also just post other stuff that I also do that today. I don't follow your OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. I don't follow. I don't follow OnlyFans. <laughs> I follow OnlyFan uh, performers mm -hmm. on Twitter. And the other day, I saw you were looking for Doctor Strange. Oh yeah, and yeah. The Multiverse of Madness. <laughs> yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And I remember seeing a video of you, and I was like, oh, let me, he's in New York. Let me see. And then I noticed that you were following me, and I was like, who is yeah. this, and how do I not know who this is? You know, you know how I know you? Uh, I did a video with uh, Magic Mike. And oh, then, yeah. And then okay. I, I saw him post like a retweet of one of your podcasts, and I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. Like, this person is going to have a podcast with like all these uh, you know, sex worker content yeah, creators. Yeah. And I was just like, whoa. And then I started following because, you know, it was interesting. You know? Yeah. Well, I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. um, and then I, I found you, I think, possibly through Magic Mike, actually. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I always do like um, a little bit of a sweep of New York City because there's so many people, oh, yeah. so many performers, so oh, many yeah. sex workers oh, yeah. that come out. And Treasure Island's always oh, looking right. for yeah. like new people. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I have to sit down like once a month and just see who's popping up and uh, and let's see if we can work together. So, okay. yeah, no, I, I, I really enjoy the fact that you are a homebody. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. You yeah. enjoy I stay at home most of the time. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so that's what I do. Yeah. so before before OnlyFans, before Twitter, oh. what were you doing? Oh yeah, so I haven't talked about this in a while. Uh, before OnlyFans, I used to work at a hostel, like okay. reception, you okay. know, front desk checking in. Um, and uh, I I loved it. It was great because hostel, most of the people, the travelers were backpackers, you mm -hmm. know, uh, Europe, all that stuff, uh, different parts of the world, Asia, stuff like that. And um, it was just a, a fun job. And then the pandemic hit, mm -hmm. and then my hostel had to close down and I was like, oh no, what am I going to do now? But then there was a sweet period of time where people started getting unemployment and I was like, okay, so this is good. Yeah, uh, you're for good. Now. So I'm not like struggling, struggling, you know, mm -hmm. I can still pay my rent on time. And then 
uh, the the OnlyFans things happened, and then my I got a call from my ex boss. He was like, "Oh, we're opening up again, but we just have to wear masks all the time." I was like, "Okay, fine." And then he doesn't know what just happened during that little break of the close down. So I try keeping both. I try okay. keeping both jobs because you know uh, most people would say that it's smart to have more than one source of income. And then, um, but my boss at the time didn't take the protocol seriously so like you know our staff were just like no we're kind of being taken advantage of so like and i was like well i kind of have another side job only fans and so i don't really need this place so i was just like you know what i'm bouncing I'm peace leaving. so then yeah. i just stayed and i just stayed home and then i took doing only fans a little bit more serious i was like okay let me reach out to people if i can you know mm -hmm. and then so now i just do that that's my only thing. So your your full time at this point is yeah. reaching out, and it's it is yeah. a full time job. Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. production. Yeah, yeah, you are a production company uh, and studio at this point. Yeah, yeah. I mean, most of my videos are just like amateur. You know, sometimes occasionally here and there I do one where it's like mm, a little bit more stuff, which mm -hmm. is great. Mm -hmm. you know, like, um, but I am trying to do other stuff than just OnlyFans. You know, it's just smart to just have something else to do on the side. You know, when it came to OnlyFans. Uh, and getting in front of the camera, mm. how easy was that for you? This is gonna sound like kind of perverted, but I don't know. I, I just enjoy sucking dick. And okay, that's what I love to You're do. You're a cocksucker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the, when the, I remember the video I posted. This I, it was actually a grinder hookup, and then this guy was like, "Can I record you?" And I was like, "Okay, yeah, sure, yeah." Um, but I want to keep it, you know, because I want to jerk off to it later. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. And then um. That video, I just I look at the camera like if it's the guy's face and just do what it comes naturally. And then that's what I just like to do. There are scenes where sometimes where it's more than just oral sex. And I do get a little shy of like, oh, I have to take off my shirt, you know, whatever. But like, I am confident taking off my shirt, like if I'm at a beach or whatever. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to like sex, it's just like a little bit different because, you know, there's people that are used to seeing certain body types but then nowadays i don't know there's more there's, yeah that, that's there's like, a big diverse yeah. group of uh, or a pool of people who mm -hmm. I've, yeah. I've seen some things yeah. you know like, <laughs> <laughs> but uh do you also enjoy the the sex part of it like top oh. or bottoming do you oh, top yeah, do you? yeah. I, I i do <laughs> some people will probably be like no miguel he's a full-on bottom like no I no i do top i i like bottoming i actually I don't even though I don't top as often, I slightly enjoy that more than bottoming because when you're topping, you don't have to like prepare and mm. all that stuff. And then um, when you're bottoming, I kind of like the idea of bottoming more than actual bottoming. Like it's a strange uh, mix. Yeah. It's a strange yeah. conundrum. I feel the same way. Sometimes I'm like, dude, I totally want to bottom. Yeah. I, this would be amazing. And then I'm like, uh, no, that's too no. big. That's not going anywhere near yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> there have been times where I've gone, gone to like grinder hookups, and then like uh, I would suck their dick, and they would come. And then sometimes they're generous and like, I want to make you come too. What can I do? And I was like, okay, well, you really want to make me come? Just like dry hump me, and I'll jerk off, and then boom, we're all mm -hmm. good. And then so with the dry humping part, yeah. <laughs> Uh, what, what, because, because you, you said I can make my own story. Oh yeah. Yeah. So what, like, so what is your story yeah, consistent yeah, of when you're doing that? Many different stories. Uh, like I would like, I would make my partner or a uh, grinder hookup, like dry hunt me. And I would just like, like, oh, in my head, I'm like, oh, we, like, we doing, we're doing this because, you know, oh, I don't know. Actually, I can't explain it very well, but it's just like, in my head, I'm like, oh, you, find me this way and i find you this attractive and it's just i make up a little story in my head you you come on your back oh what do you mean like uh, do you enjoy coming on your back uh, do you want a guy on top of you yeah yeah, yeah okay yeah, yeah, yeah. what yeah. is it looking up at this person yeah, yeah. it's looking up looking up their shoulders their pecs and just like their face looking down on me i'm just like yes like i'm you are on top of me you know okay that's, that's what i enjoy where does that come from i don't I actually don't know uh, whenever i like masturbate by myself when i'm like looking at porn on my like i don't really look at um uh, intercourse. I just look at oral stuff. So okay, it's kind of weird, but in, in but in real life, I enjoy just a person being on top of me. So you watch porn? Yeah, yeah. Okay, oral porn. Yeah, oral mostly. porn, amateur. Okay, you know stuff like that. Um, what else? Yeah, mostly just just mostly just oral. Yeah. Oral, you know. Any sites? Any? Oh, uh, like I'm always intrigued. I want to know yeah, what you're watching. Just, I want to know where you got here. There's one site that uh, I go to a lot. It's called it's called My Vids. Okay. Dot com. All right. But it's kind of weird because like that website has uh, like straight porn, gay porn, and then there's also like 
SCAT scam. I'm like, whoa. Oh, yeah, it's very no, upfront there. So. I was like, okay, cool. I mean, you yeah, know, you, you, you do yeah, your thing. Yeah. They, <laughs> they can keep it to themselves. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's a certain limit to like, what. When, when I'm watching porn and I do suggestions like straight porn, I'm just like, okay, no, but you know, I'll just keep. I was a random story. When I was in Mexico for four months, I didn't have any um, good internet service. So then I would just look up porn whenever I could. Like, and it was in uh, my, it was in my, grandparents house and i was just like okay i need my own time and then uh, the service was bad so i only looked up the one that was only the suggestions mm -hmm. and it was um it was a gay porn with a uh, trans man and then i was just like cool like i this is they're, they're both hot yeah i'm enjoying watching this and i came and then i was like oh what does that mean does that mean i like trans men or i don't know but i just like two masculine looking men okay fooling around sometimes when you're in desperate need <laughs> You can you can find out a yeah. lot about yourself. Yeah, like, yeah. hey, I enjoy this apparently. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when uh, I I watch I watch a good amount of straight porn, mm. and you just mentioned Mexico. Oh yeah, yeah. And there is a site called Sex Mex. Have you heard oh, of it? Oh no, I haven't. No, no it's no. actually it's actually not bad. Granted, I'm I'm watching. There are various re reasons why I watch straight porn. Mm. A pop, you know, I think a majority of it is because of the straight guys. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there is something about a straight guy pleasing a woman that kind of mm. always has been oh, in the yeah, back yeah, of my yeah, head yeah, yeah. because of the fact that that's that's popular memory for me. That's yeah. that's the memory that was out there. It wasn't like I was young watching yeah. uh, gay porn. Like oh, it was always right. a man yeah. and a woman. So there's always yeah, that yeah, that thing. Uh, sex mix. Oh. Uh, not a bad. I enjoy it because they're it speaking yeah. in Spanish. <laughs> I enjoy all of it. Like, it's really, really hot. And it, whatever they're doing, they did right. Mm. But you said you are uh, you are Mexican. Were yes. you born in Mexico? Yeah, my parents are from Puebla. Uh, they immigrated to New York City, and I was the first born in New York, Brooklyn, um, at Woodhall Hospital in Bushwick, New York. Uh, so my parents, my mom and my dad actually weren't even planning on having me. They were like, we already have two kids. We don't need, we're, we're in Mexico. We don't need more kids. And they, <laughs> I mean, we're in the United States. We're in New York and we don't need more kids. We already yeah, have two. Yeah. But then my mom was like, no, we're, I'm already pregnant. I might as well just give birth to this child. And then I was born and then uh, I was the first Mexican American in my family. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. And um, my father is no longer here because you know he used to drink a lot. But that's a whole different story. But I already processed the whole thing. My mom, I love her to death. She is lives close to me. She lives like literally a five minute, ten minute walk from my apartment. And she even knows I do. I was gonna say, does yeah, she know she what does, you do? She, she does she's what cool. Do. Yeah, she's cool. She, when she first found out, though, she was not cool about it. I was on. I remember at the time it was like two years ago. I was I was on a date with somebody, and then my mom called me. And she's like, Miguel, I just found like I just saw a picture that's not appropriate, and then she forwarded it to me. And she said, I she said I saw it on Facebook, and I was like, Facebook? No, Facebook doesn't even allow that. They'll be they'll be flagged down. So I looked at my phone, my message from my mom, and it was just me smiling with like a penis on my face, <laughs> and like a selfie, cute selfie. I was like, oh, like I love cock, you know. So, and then I was like, mom, like I need a, that's not on Facebook, first of all. So calm down, and I'm, I'm gonna go to your house. Where was she to, that she found this she, picture? She, <laughs> uh, apparently, a uh, uh, ex, a uh, far family member messaged to her. I was like, do you know your son is doing this? I'm like, bitch. Why are you trying to wrap me out first yeah, of all? Yeah, like, and where did she this? find that yeah, picture? Yeah, why, I'm yeah. so intrigued. Yeah, like, where? <laughs> but then I went to my mom's house and I was like, "Hey, I know what you saw, but like, I'm making this much money and it's and I'm and I'm like." And know. she said, "Mijo." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, I don't have to work at the hotel job anymore. And she was like, "Oh, well, if you're happy, that's all that matters." I was like, mm -hmm, "Yeah, okay, <laughs> that's why you're." Yeah. So she knows what I do now, and then she knows that I am. Um, now living with my partner and we've been friends for like six years and now we're together and now we live together so then now she knows like she knows my whole life mm -hmm. she's like all right miguel's there you know uh, if she whenever she wants like a like she has like a family gathering I, I go you know coming out to her how was that oh oh my god when i came out to her i came out to her when i was like 16 i it was my 16th birthday and i told her mom like, i need to talk to you and i took her aside to the next room i was like i'm gay and she goes what do you mean and she's like, you know, uh, you know, Ricky Martin. And she was like, oh, OK. All right. I know what you mean now. <laughs> and I was like, was okay. Ricky Martin out at that point? Yeah, yeah. He okay, was gay. Was like, or did like, she know? Because uh, people knew. <laughs> yeah, people knew. But then, like, my mom and my parents, they came, from, they came from a small town, religious town in Mexico. Okay. So, like, the fact that my mom supports me and knows is, like, kind of rare. And she, like, loves that I'm gay and, you know, I was rooting for me all the time. Mm -hmm. So Good. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's 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 awesome. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. And mm -hmm. you know, coming from a Latin family yeah, too, you know, yeah. I'm always intrigued to see how everybody reacts yeah. or how they how they take it. You know, it's it's mm -hmm. not easy. Mm -hmm. uh, what was your what was your first 
sexual experience with oh. another man or with a guy or the guy it was in i was in new jersey i used to live in new jersey too because my dad used to live there. oh what part uh tom's river near, near oh down yeah, oh okay yeah. like down the down the shore yeah, yeah, yeah okay yeah, exit exactly. 82 or 83 or something yeah like that. but yeah. i was out pretty early in high school like, i already knew that i was gay mm-hmm. i actually knew i was gay when i was a little boy yeah like i was openly gay and then i was talking to this one kid his name was billy and i remember we went to his house and we watched black swan and then we made out and then i gave him head and then he was like you're really good at that you do that a lot i was like no it was my first time doing it <laughs> i just like i just love it yeah I just love doing it, so. <laughs> yeah yeah that was nice a long time ago that was uh was billy straight no he was gay okay gayer than me but yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, it was quite easy it wasn't yeah. a challenge yeah, yeah okay all right so you said you knew as a kid oh yeah oh yeah, yeah. how did you find out how did oh, you okay so i denied it my my to my brothers because when i was five my brother and older sister and I used to watch Power Rangers, you know, the original Power Rangers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then whenever the Red Ranger took off his shirt, four-year-old me would walk to the TV and lick the screen. What? Yeah, I know. I was I like, love it. I just, and then I licked the screen and then like my older brother and older sister, they just look at each other. I was like, that's weird. But okay, let him do his thing. And then a few years go by, I'm like 10 years old. And then they were both like... You 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 have you licked the screen when whenever the Red Ranger came out. I was like, no, that's not true. You guys are making that up. And no, they're they were saying the truth because I remember because when I licked the screen, there was some dust on it. So oh, then, and you can taste so it. I, there was some dust on my tongue, and I was like, okay, the yeah, Red Ranger tasted dusty. They were dusty. not lying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were lying. I remember that's now a core memory in my head. So yeah. So so sexual. You were always very uh, sexually positive. Yeah. I'm curious because you had mentioned before. Mm-hmm. Uh, I knew you were Mexican American. Mm-hmm. You said uh, people think I'm Filipino. Yeah, 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 yeah. So growing up, I actually used to get bullied for a lot of things. I used to get bullied for being fat. I used to be bullied for being gay. And I used to be bullied because, you know, in New Jersey especially because, you know, there's more, you know, there's more homogenized there. I used to get bullied for being Mexican and then also Asian too because they, they, would, they would think that I'm Asian mm. because of my eyes and mm-hmm. stuff like that. So, um, wait, what was the question again? I forgot. Okay. Um, regarding, oh, great. Now I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> wait, so we were talking about uh, growing up. Yeah, I was Mexican, um, but people think I'm yes. uh, Filipino. Okay. Sometimes people think I'm Hawaiian. Wait, wait, we got to take it back just in oh, case. I, <laughs> I don't want people to think we're sloppy like that. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just having a lot of good, yeah, good time yeah. conversation. But, um, so you, you had mentioned before yeah. that uh, before I knew you were Mexican-American, mm-hmm. you said you were, that people think you're Filipino. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people do. Um, and I, I get mistaken. Well, not mistaken. They ask if I'm a Hawaiian or Filipino. Um, sometimes Indian, too. Uh, really? When I would get... Um, you know, I would just like sometimes get it's the indigenous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that, which too. is so weird yeah. because, like, some people I get a lot of questions I have asked if I'm Filipino or Hawaiian, but then there are some people that are like, No, you look straight up Mexican. I was like, Well, I don't know what that means because, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I know, yeah, is that a compliment? Yeah, because yeah. I'm, I yeah. am Mexican. My co worker, she was, I love her, I miss her that I, I used to work with her at the hotel. She was like, No, Miguel, you look hella Mexican. And I was like, Oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> I was like, Oh, well, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I think she I look said, good. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no actually oh i took the dna test mm-hmm. i found out that i am like indigenous in the south american mm-hmm. amazon i'm indigenous from oh like south America. okay and i'm also like like 10 percent native american and also like some inuit inuit is a oh, okay. tribe yeah. from the ice age yeah so you know that little ice age baby i was like oh that's we're related wow, yeah. you know? no that's really really so, cool and, and, I, and i thought i was gonna have some european i mean not european spaniard because you know mm. mexico was, they con- we're yeah, conquering we're everything con- yeah <laughs> they were conquered by the spain and also barrientos barrientos is a i know i have a philippine friend who also is named barrientos so i was like maybe i am filipino because we have the same last name but i was like no that's because of the spaniards mm-hmm. well i didn't have any spaniard dna in me so that's really so just just that's amazing this indigenous on the on the where are we the west side we're in the west side right the um, u.s is on the west side yeah yeah, yeah. no on the west <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah. western indian let's yeah, say. yeah basically yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah where columbus actually landed oh as opposed to oh well he thought he landed yeah anywhere in the united states yeah. <laughs> oh, but also my sister my little sister she has she's the only one in my family that has fair skin so she actually looks more asian than i do mm-hmm. so you know, we call her like chinita yeah, 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 yeah that's a, it's a, yeah. a term of endearment yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. chino china yeah. but mexicans in general there's like uh if you go to mexico there's like 
white Mexicans, you know, dark Mexicans. Yeah, blonde hair, blue eye Mexicans. Yeah, I, I, I remember I was at a gay bar in Mexico once, and then I met this guy like, oh, you're a tourist. Are you traveling? He's like, no, I live here. And he looked like Ronald Weasley from Harry Potter. I was like, what, you're Mexican? Okay, bye. <laughs> Whatever. And then he started talking to you in Spanish. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like fluent like, Spanish. Yeah. And like, what? Oh. Uh, yeah. yeah, no, it's 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 really cool. I like I I enjoy going to different countries, mm-hmm. especially Spanish countries, Latin American, South American oh. countries. I haven't been that far east yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think the furthest I've gone is Budapest. Oh, did you go alone? Or you go with friends? Uh, I went with a friend in like oh, okay. 2009. It was nice, and oh, the only thing I, I can tell you is. They don't speak English and they don't care to. Oh, <laughs> Not yeah. everybody. You know how there's a tourist. <laughs> yeah. Like, it, there are tourists there and there are people that, that do speak it, but the older people there don't expect them to speak English. You, mm. If you're looking at a menu, you point at what you want and that they'll Whoa. bring it out. Wow. That's, yeah, because, oh, cool. yeah. and I get it, you know, like not everybody should bend to the fact oh, that, no, they, yeah. Yeah, that right. they keep their culture and they keep their, their, totally. their language and, you know, you're there visiting their country. Exactly. Yeah. So what I wanted to ask you too was, oh, so you have a big Filipino following. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so, so because of that, I am I am forever grateful and they're they're loyal. Like sometimes I would get messages like, Oh hey, do you know that this person is using your photos? And I was like, Oh, damn, thanks for telling me though. But you know, then I like, you know so then I didn't like the idea of watering my self watermarking my mm-hmm. selfies because I don't want to come across as like, oh, like I am the blah blah blah. You know, I'm cocky, whatever, but no, I'm not. it's I just, not. I just it's, watermark it's it because I watermark it because I want people to know that that's me. Yeah, you know? and this is this is, and and the funny thing is, is even if you watermark it, if they're savvy enough, they can take your picture and watermark it too. And then, yeah, that's happened yeah, too. I was like, I was like, what? So you ugh, you blocked my watermark to put yours over it? Bye. It's a crazy world. Yeah, but at the end of the day, I'm actually I'm not actually like angry about it. I'm just like, wow, okay, well, thank you for like. Thinking that I'm like good looking enough to pretend to be me, you know. So I thanks flattered. for stealing my yeah, stuff. Yeah, thanks for stealing my stuff, but also very, <laughs> very flattered too, you know. Uh, but oh, so I am gonna go to the Philippines okay. in November for two weeks. I'm very, very nice. excited. Yeah. My partner and my mom were like freaking out. I was like, "Oh, what are you doing? Are you going by yourself?" I was like, "Mom." And hello, I went to South Korea when I was 23 by myself. I didn't know anybody. I just went there. And luckily, South Korea and Seoul, it was very English-friendly. So when I were going to transit, I would I would ever be an English version of the letters. Mm. Oh, you better be careful. Though. There are certain things in the Philippines. I didn't know Maduro, is it? The leader there is yeah. real strict. I mean, I will do more research because it's so far in advance I'm gonna do my research when the like if you smoke weed don't smoke weed oh, there. No, no, no. okay I was gonna say don't don't do anything that. You- <laughs> whenever I smoke weed I, I feel like people can hear my thoughts and I freak out and I, and I leave the okay. I leave the function oh, you leave the I'm gonna go home yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gone yeah uh, what has been uh, your best experiences because now you're you're dealing with content creators you're dealing with other only fan models fan site models oh, yeah, yeah, now, yeah. yeah so and you've and you've you've met a lot of them. Yeah, a few, like a small handful. Yeah, yeah. So what is that interaction like? Um, Whenever you come to a room or come to a place, and you're meeting somebody, and you oh, guys yeah. are like, "Hey, let's exchange. Yeah, We're doing this." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I basically talk to them like if they're my friends. Okay. Or like how I would talk to a friend, you know, like um, like I would DM. Sometimes I would DM them like, "Hey, like, do you want to do a bit of fun video together? You know, we can post on our OnlyFans." And then they'll be like, "Yeah, sure. Here's my number." Oh, speaking of. Now I only give my numbers out to people who are like serious creators. Like, hey, I want to do this, this, this. Mm-hmm. Before I made the mistake of giving my number out to like a person that like wanted to be friends, and then that did not turn out well. Well, how do you know that they're a serious creator? Well, they I would go through their socials and see like, okay, so this person uh, makes this, and then great. So then like, if they want to do this, I'm like, well, yeah, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm down. I'm totally down. I'm always open for. So you've had experiences where they're not serious creators; they just want to be friends. Are they fans or? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Like they want, oh, I want to be your sugar daddy. I was like, oh, let me give this idea a shot. No, bad idea. It was mm. the worst decision ever. I had to change my whole number. Really? Yeah. Did, none of it was good. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I really? Think, okay. Yeah. I was just like, uh, whatever. I just, I had to change my number because they were like, I know you're where you live at. I'm like, well, how do you, oh. how do you know my street? Okay. That yeah. That, I never thought about that. Yeah. I'm always thinking about the, yeah. oh, someone wants to take care of me. Yeah. I like that that's always very nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is, but it is. I know where you live. That doesn't yeah, sound no. fun at all. Yeah. <laughs> And at the time, me and my partner weren't partners. We were just friends. And then he's like, I know where you and your friend lives that you're always hanging out with. Yeah, that's not cool. And I was like, whoa. If they said, I know where your mom lives, yeah. that would have been fighting words. Oh, yeah. yeah I would have yeah. been. Oh, bitch. Come on. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my God. All in all, uh-huh. your experience in 
on OnlyFans and stuff. Yeah. Um, right. Positive experience. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and yeah. you enjoy you're enjoying what you're doing. Yeah, you're, okay. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Um, you know, it's changed my life, and I'm grateful for it. You know, I I, I I love doing it, and I also love sucking dick. So might as well just share that with the world. You yeah. Know? Well, I'm very sex positive. Post OnlyFans, right? Let's. Uh, oh. Do you think that there is a do you want another platform? Do you want yourself platform? Do you want like what do you what do you see yourself doing in this field, mm-hmm. like within time? Oh, like and it's if staying on OnlyFans? Or well, no, not staying on OnlyFans per se. But let's say you're like you know, makes this outgrown OnlyFans. I'm gonna do. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. I'm getting into real estate. So, okay. You know that everyone gets into real estate because it's easy. But uh, the, it's test good. Was, the test was hard. I was I had to take. Oh God, yeah, yeah it's, it it's so much law. <laughs> yeah. Not even law, mathematics. I remember thinking to myself because yeah. I I also got my my yeah. I went to I went to real estate school. I scored it with it. Mm-hmm. I took the test mm-hmm. and then I got a job in my field. So I kind of didn't follow it, and I should have. I should have just yeah. kept it because you get to look at the MLS listings before everybody else. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that re- that's reason alone to do it. But yeah, I remember thinking to myself, why do I have to know all of this? I'm not becoming a lawyer. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but whatever, you know. It's I guess yeah. it's really good information to have. I'm not going to complain because any kind of good information is is information. So yeah, and also if you that. get into real estate, you get. You know, you have your resources. Like, I have to move soon because the the house I live in there's being sold. So then, um, uh, because I we have real estate people and kind of like, oh, we can get to move to another place. It's also nice, not mm-hmm. too expensive. Mm-hmm. Stuff like that. Yeah, whatever. All right. So so real estate, but um, in in the field in general, like, what about porn? Do you how long do you see yourself being in porn? Is this like a stepping stone to something else or? I want to do What's it your for take? as long as I can. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because you know, I want to be in my forties and still doing it. If I if I still want to, you know, because like I like doing because I like doing it. You know. Okay. That's why. And if it it pays well, might as well just keep doing it. How does it affect um, your sex life in real life? Oh, um, not not that much, really. Does it, does it affect your relationship? No, 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 okay. not at all. Um, me and my partner, we're an open relationship. You know, uh, I don't really. People know, you know, people, my, my family knows, you know, my, like his family knows mm-hmm. and all that stuff. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's, it doesn't really change anything. Cause at the end of the day, like he's my person and I'm his person. So he knows what I do mm-hmm. and, um, he's supportive, you know? So. Does he, does he watch your stuff? Uh, I don't think so. No. <laughs> he used to help out in the beginning. Now we well uh, actually I, I ignore that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I used to help out. Well, I could say it. Yeah, I used to help out at the beginning, but not 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 anymore. No, because you know? now I can do stuff with like other people. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. which is kind of flattering when I would randomly get DMs with like, "Hey, do you want to do a video?" I was like, "Whoa, you have a six pack abs." And okay, fine <laughs> if you want to. <laughs> yeah, then, yeah. Well, but you're you're a handsome guy. <laughs> Don't you, you. Oh, like no, 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 yeah, you no, know no. that. Yeah, you yeah. know. Okay. Right. I just say that I have humor. No, you know? I know. Okay, good, good. Okay, so Chistoso, you're just yeah. being you're just being funny. Okay. Yeah. Because sometimes no, it is. It's it's rampant in our industry. I mm-hmm. I, I I meet so many models that oh, no, do no. have even, that. Even, like, even people who, you know, uh who like I met I did a video with somebody who was like gorgeous and he was like, Oh, I need to lift more, do this. I'm like, Girl, no, you're fine. But that just reminds me that like even if I were to all of a sudden lose forty pounds, there's still gonna be something in my head that's gonna be like, yep. Oh, you need to fix this or whatever. It's the so, mirror that we look into yeah. that bothers us more than anybody yeah. else. So, you know, eventually you just gotta learn how to this as corny as it sounds, you gotta learn how to love and be mm-hmm. content with how you look. You yeah. Know? Joel someone, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Do you know Joel someone? No. He's <laughs> out in California. He was in New York City. Uh but one of the best things he said mm-hmm. was I think I forgot. I think he said, "Oh, you look good. Take the fucking compliment. Yeah. Oh, you yeah, know yeah, you yeah, look yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. Just learn how to own those compliments." And I'm like, "Oh, you know what? He's yeah, right. I would never. Right. I, if someone were to randomly call me, you look so handsome. I would say, "Oh, no, I'm not. Like, no. Just I would just be like, thank you. Yeah. But in a nice. Oh, way, I appreciate you know? it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's always nice. Yeah. Fuck. I I have to like. <laughs> is there anything I have not dressed or touched? I feel like I this know. is a really good introduction. I'm very happy. I would love thank for you, you to. Uh, oh, you know what? Oh, hold on a second. Well, you know we do suck scenes for Treasure Island, right? Oh, 
like okay. pure suck scenes. Oh, I love that. You know, oh, yeah. yeah. Especially yeah. if you love to suck dick, yes. we, I can have you sucking dick for five people at a time. Do you enjoy that? Do you enjoy it? actually one of my dreams to be in the middle of a circle of jerk. Oh, we're going to do I'm this. Like, oh. oh, no, no. Come <laughs> come this week. We're okay. absolutely going to do this. All right. Well, I'm free. You know. Not this week. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> next month. Coming This coming month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. T- you tell me how many you want and I'll get them. Maybe like five. Maybe okay. Five's no, good. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Five guys. No, no, <laughs> uh, you know, but if you want more, no, for real, oh I can make God. that. I have not shot a video like that, and I think we can have a Ooh. lot of fun. Okay. Just have you on your knees or on the on the bed and just oh, mm. go to town. Oh, my God. Yeah. All great. right. We're working on that. Okay. That's it. That's that's our next thing. So um, when people want to find you, people that don't know you from the podcast, let's say, although I think they may, where do they go? What do you mean? Like, uh, give me, give me your your socials, your fan oh, sites, oh, and all oh, that oh. stuff. I only have, I only have Twitter. Okay, Megs B nine four, and then I have my Instagram, which is just like I don't post sex stuff there. I just post my my regular okay. my daily life stuff. So uh, you said Twitter is XB. Oh no, uh, Twitter is Migs B nine four. Migs B nine four. Yeah. Okay, my Instagram is just Migs dot B period. Okay, dot period period B. And you, and then they can find your link tree or your OnlyFans yeah, on your yeah, Twitter yeah, page yeah. and stuff. I even have my OnlyFans link on my Instagram bio, so I have like ex coworkers, class ex classmates, family friends who see the OnlyFans mm. link on my Instagram. Bio. Just in case they ever want to collaborate, <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. <laughs> so I'm pretty open about that. Like I'm okay. not I'm not gonna ha- beat around the bush. Like oh I do sex work. No, I do it, and you know that's it. Go on. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. All right. So real quick, I'm just going to let these guys know, uh, Demystifying Gay Porn, you can find us on every podcast directory. You can find us on YouTube. You can find us on uh, Instagram. I'm trying to get on TikTok, but they keep banning everything oh, that I have yeah, on TikTok. Yeah. yeah so I, I have to figure out a different way to do it. Maybe just like, hey, oh, how are you? Oh, I'm good. How are you? And yeah. then put that up and be like, come follow us on There's no way to do YouTube. it. Just got to put in your windows. Okay. I'll do that. <laughs> but I put up like clips. Yeah, and they just they go to town on them. I, it's not weird. up for five minutes, oh, and I have oh. account warnings, and I'm like, okay, well. But Man. then I saw like celebrities and stuff. Like some of the ones I follow also have account warnings, so I'm like, I'm in a, I'm I'm in good field, you know. Okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah. But um, yeah. So we're on everything. Uh, my guest uh, Migs or Miguel, better known as Migs on Twitter on OnlyFans. Uh, this is Demystifying Gay Porn. My name is Ike Grande, and if you watch gay porn, I definitely helped you get off. Oh, Cheers. I love that. <laughs> All right, bye. Ooh, thank you so much.